down towards the maze, 46 minutes. Daria and James, back to you. Thank you, Ray. It's 802 on our top story this morning. Tributes and condolences pouring in for Alameda County Supervisor Wilma Chan. Yeah, she was struck and killed by a car uh, in Alameda yesterday while she was walking her dog in the morning. Later died at the hospital, and there have been ongoing concerns about speeding and traffic safety in that area. So let's hear about that from Crom Force Camila Barco this morning. She's in Alameda. Good morning, Camila. So yeah, um, everyone that we've spoken to this morning says that speeding is a problem here in Alameda and something needs to be done about it. According to a local organization called uh, Bike Walk Alameda, they say the number of deaths on the streets due to traffic violence doubled in 2020. Now, investigators say that a car struck Chan while walking her dog yesterday morning in Alameda. She suffered a serious head injury. Paramedics rushed her to the hospital where she later died. The driver of the car remained on scene and is cooperating with the investigation. Uh, many people offered their condolences. People say that Chan was a champion for inclusion and equity. However, at this time, it's unclear if a speeding played a role in this crash, but it has been a factor in other wrecks. Earlier this summer, a drunken driver killed a former Bay Area News Director as he was walking the streets of Alameda. If you take a look at this video, this is from September. A driver sped past a stop sign and sent an SUV flying off the road and into a home that happened on Cambridge and Fernside. The crash killed a 27-year-old man and sent another person to the hospital. Now, residents uh, are demanding something change. The city did install automated stop signs to deter people from racing up and down that street that I mentioned, but neighbors say drivers have ignored it and they're asking for police to step up patrols. Now, as I said, we've been speaking to people here in Alameda about the uh, the speeding issue. Here's what one resident had to say. Basically, what's happened is that, you know, people are in a hurry. We're distracted, we're stressed, we're angry. And, you know, Alameda's always had a, you know, an emphasis on a 25 mile an hour speed zone. You know, and I think people have been frustrated by that, but at the same time, it serves a really great purpose. And I would say one of the benefits of COVID is that it's been forcing us to slow down, and I just think we need to stay there. A little more kindness, a little more, you know, taking some time. A little more kindness on the roads. Yeah, that was Trisha Emerson. Uh, she is an Alameda resident. She has been living here for quite a while. She was talking about that 25 mile per hour limit. That is what is the limit here on these roads. She and other people that I've spoken to this entire morning say that drivers are ignoring that speed limit. Some are going 40. Some people have told me that they've seen even people driving as uh, fast as 60 mile per hour here in Alameda. And that is not a good sign because of course that can lead to accidents. They're saying that police should step up enforcement when it comes uh, to people driving on the roads. Daria James, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Camila. It is